have a reiterate for those people who've just come in. The aims of Sikhs for Labour is to be voice for Sikhs in the Labour Party and to be a Labour voice in the community. That is our aims and that is what we're trying to do. I, mean, I think it's a little known fact that UK has the largest population of Sikhs outside of India. And we have a long-standing relationship with the Labour Party. And it's about time we had that formalised. And so this was one of the other reasons why we, we thought it would be a good idea to sh launch this. And as I said earlier, the short-term aim for Sikhs for Labour is to make sure that we're campaigning for a Labour victory in the general election in 2015. But in the longer term, we do really want to be listening, listening to the Sikh communities up and down the country to hear what are their concerns, what do they feel that they would engage with the Labour Party more. You know, we cannot rely on the traditional kind of allegiances. You see the next generation, their aspirations sometimes are different. We need to find mechanisms to engage with the next generation and hence we're trying to involve more and more younger people who can perhaps be politically active locally and nationally and European uh, level as well. So, you know, in, it's been really interesting for me the last six months to see how many MPs who perhaps really knew that, yes, Sikhs are there, they go to Gurdwara once a year or, you know, maybe twice a year, but really, what are the issues that concern? And what, what's really heartened me is people who've really, uh, like uh, Mr. Watson, who's now called Watson, and Pat Vancing, <laughs> here, the kind of fight they've taken to the local communities. And when, I, when I'm in Sanwell or in Wolverhampton, you know, the work you two have done on the, the whole 1984 issue, you know, people recognise that in the Gurdwara, and I really want to pay a tribute to the two of you for taking that lead and to making sure that, you know, the Sikhs felt that there were people who were willing to listen to their concerns and, and to explore it further. And of course, you know, many people like Councillor Atwell here and Councillor Semi and others have been leading that fight for years. But I think it's really good that our, you know, mainstream members of parliament and others have got involved. And really, I believe that this will pay dividend, not just in the European elections and the local elections, but also in the, in the general election next year. But I think, you know, what I would like to do is to recognize many people who went before us, because, you know, for me, one of my heroes, when I first went to West Midlands, was Lord Tharson King. He did some amazing work to really get people engaged, to get you into the community. And, uh, and I think, you know, with, with that, his guidance, I wouldn't be where I am. That, that, that's just really, um, I'd like to pay tribute to him. But then, you know, we had other former MPs like Piara Cabra and Marsha Singh, who did their own bit for the Sikh community. But I'm really pleased that Parmjit Dunda, who's here, who's a former minister, the first Sikh minister, and he's involved in the Sikhs for Labour. And thank you, Parmjit, for continued support and guidance, and we wish you luck and hope to see you again in some parliamentary position. But I think also I would like to thank the Labour Party for the support they've given us, Ian McNichol and other people who have really been instrumental in enabling this group to get to where it has. And without their support and, and support from the leader's office, from Nirmali and others, we would not be able to have this event today. So thank you to, to them and also to Pat's team who have done an amazing job I don't know where they all are, but, you know, to Sadia, Bhavan and Dan, thank you so much for all your work today. And first and foremost, I really, well, how can I forget our sponsors with all the great samosas and Punjab Radio. And uh, for providing...
providing the um, refreshments, as well as uh, for Jagdar. Where's Jagdar? For paying for these wonderful campaign <laughs> stands. So this, this is the first of our, I hope, for many gatherings that we have. And we tend to have regional launches in different parts. Uh, I hope we will have one in the West Midlands and we can have one in the East Midlands. And there are a lot of MPs who are interested in that, that we should try and have some kind of regional base, one in London, one in South East, so that we can really take the message from today back to our local communities. Because this isn't just about this particular reception. It is about getting back there each and every one of you, connecting with the local community and actually re-engaging them and not just saying you just vote for us, but actually come and get involved, become members and, you know, and in future, you know, once we've got sufficient members, our intention is that we would try and apply for, to be a socialist society in the Labour Party so we can be active in the structures but also, I think it's important that we take, have this initiative at a local level. And what we need to do is to have regular meetings and regular engagement. So I want all the MPs here to encourage their SEEK members to become members of S4L. Then we will have an AGM where we can select a proper committee and uh, new board members. <laughs> Many of the existing board members are here and I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce them. Uh, Grinda Joson, one of the vice chairs here. <coughs> Round of applause, he's done a lot of work for us today. <laughs> Hardeep Singh, who's another one of the vice chairs. <laughs> Where's our new corporate treasurer from the city seeks? Jasbir Singh. We will be contacting you at a later date. Um, I'm sure he won't be asking for money. Um, then we've got Councillor Narinda Kuna from the Labour. Kimmy Gale. Councillor Bali Singh. Dr. Baines. Councillor Havans Bagri. Is anybody out there? Great to see you here, Emma. And uh, as soon as I finish, you're going to be invited here for lots of photos. I'm sure everybody knows Emma Reynolds, who is uh, an MP for Wolverhampton North East. Got it right. <laughs> <laughs> and she's also the Shadow Housing spokesperson. So great to have you here. Um, I don't know if Tom would like to say a few words as an honorary president of S4L. It would be great if you could, because I didn't get round to introducing the president. The two honorary presidents are Pat McFadden and Tom Watson. So I invite you both to take the stage. Yeah, put me on the spot there, Nina. Um, look, there are issues that I think transcend party politics. And one of them is the issue of what happened in 1984, the genocide. And we on the Labour benches are trying to find common cause with our opponents on the Conservative and Lib Dem benches. And that is an issue that we discuss, and I want to make sure that the Sikh community in Britain has full knowledge of what the role of the British government at that time was. But there are issues that relate to us in the Labour Party, and you as Sikhs in the Labour Party. And that's why we have Sikhs for Labour. And I'm absolutely delighted and honoured to be made an honorary president of this organisation. I was mentored in the Labour Party by a great man, Lord Tarson King. And I can honestly say to you, particularly in these last few months, which has been a time of great challenge for the community, that I've missed him. And I've missed his wise counsel and his life experience. And Parliament misses him. And so if he has left me a legacy, it's this. We need more seat representation at all levels in the Labour Party and in the House of Commons and in the House of Lords. So I want to use this role to make sure that we promote seats within the party, we give the support and training that they deserve. Because as you know, seats in this country are making Britain great. They're the economic drivers, they're the cultural leaders, there is 
a humanity to Sikhism that we can all learn from. And so can the Labour Party. So it's great to be here tonight. All of us in this room are here to make a difference. And I think that this first meeting is a great start. And it's brilliant that we've had Yvette and Ed with us to show that leadership. Thank you.